Hello everyone. This class today is about carry look ahead adder. First of all, we will see structure of a full adder. It has two inputs AI and BI and an input carry CI and this is the in output sum and output carry now in a ripple carry adder the carry input carry propagates through all the stages of the adder and so the computational time required is big O of n for a 4 bit adder the computational time required is big O of 4 For a carry look ahead adder, the time complexity is big O of 1. So much less time is taken here in carry look ahead adder. This happens because for a carry look ahead adder, the carry of all the stages are generated parallelly. So we will see how. For that first we have to consider two functions. This is the generation function and this is the propagation function. <coughs> now input carry to the i plus 1 at stage that is the next stage will be what is a generation function if both ai and bi are 1 then carry will be generated in the i at stage and if either AI or BI is 1 then if there is an input carry then that carry will be propagated to the next stage so input carry of the next stage that is I plus 1 at stage will be carry generated if there is carry generated or if input carry is there in the i stage and it is propagated to the next stage so this is the equation either carry is generated or if carry is already there input carry to the i stage then that carry is propagated Now if this is a 4 bit carry look ahead adder then we can generate a recursive equation in this form. We can get ci equal to g0 plus c0 p0. We know all these right so we get c1. Then we get c2 equal to g1 plus c1 p1 c2 equal to g1 plus replace c1 by g0 plus c0 p0 into p1 c2 equal to g1 plus g0 p1 plus this so we get c2 in this way we can get c3 and c4 and so on if there are more carries <clears throat> so we can model this by a diagram like this
a3 b3 and input carry c0 okay so we we know all these and also c0 so from this we can compute in the first stage we have to compute g0 p0 then g1 p1 then g2 p2 and then g3 p3 okay now we see that c1 is a combination of g0 c0 and p0 c2 is a combination of g1 g0 p1 and c0 p0 and p1 so basically all the carries are combinations of this c0 g0 p0 that is c0 and gi pi's so here we can give and and or gets and from there we can generate these c1 c2 c3 and c4 okay so all the carries are generated parallelly by a two stage circuit then if we see the sum expression sum equal to ai xor bi xor ci so sum is basically ai xor bi is pi here so this we will replace by pi xor ci so if we give an xor gate circuits here by xoring ci with pi which we already know c1 with p1 we get s1 then from c2 and p2 we get s2 okay then from c3 and p3 we get s3 and from c0 and p0 we get s0 so by a three stage circuit we get s0 s1 s2 s3 and the final output carry we get from here now this circuit this adder is the fastest adder but the only drawback of this is the large number of gates that is hardware required here we can see that c1 is or gate here and an and gate here required for c2 the two or gates and two and gates required so the number of gates required increases in c3 and c4 and if the ad, uh, adder is of more bits than for the next successive uh, successive stages the <coughs> number of gates that is hardware required is much more so this is the only drawback here hope you all get it carry look ahead adder so that's it for today thank you